Hi students, um, so I am going to show you how to create your own blog. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to www.blogger.com and once you click on that it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. So go ahead and click on your Google account and you're going to go ahead and sign in like this. And once you sign in you should see a dashboard like this. Um, you can see I have a, a lot of blogs that have already been started right here, uh, but you want to create a new one, so you're going to click on new blog right here. When you get to this page, I would like for you to title it your name. So let me put, I'm just going to put a random name um, because it's a demo. So Bobby Brown, apostrophe S, life. Science 7 blog. So title it your names, Life Science 7 blog. Um, for your address, you're going to put your name. So Bobby Brown, Life Science. And make sure you spell science correctly. It happens all the time. And you're going to put Bobby Brown, Life Science 7. So your name and life science seven dot blogspot dot com, and you're gonna go ahead and click on create blog. I know there's a lot of different templates here. You can go ahead and choose one that you find interesting. So let me just click on. I'm gonna click on the travel one and create blog. Once you click on that. It's working. Um, you should see your new blog right here. Here it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like when I click on it. So here we go. So here is my new blog and you can see there's a lot of different functions on the side here. Um, you're gonna click on new post, the orange button right here. Once it loads you should get a page like this and this is um, how you create posts to your blog. So let's go ahead and create our new post. Um, let's go ahead and title it Welcome. And in this page right here, you can say Hello, welcome to my blog. Keep it simple. It's the first post. And let me just walk you through what some of these buttons do. So this button right here, you can change the font. So let, let's say um, I want to use this font right here. You're going to highlight what you have. I'm going to make it Georgia font. Um, this button makes the text larger, so I'm going to make it really big. Um, this button uh, controls uh, what type of text it is. So I have normal font. If I make it heading, it makes it bolder. Um, subheading. Usually, it's it just changes the bold or italic or underlying settings. So these buttons, of course, they just change the font like that. Um, this one is a strike through. You don't want to use that one unless you're trying to edit a text. So just keep it like this. This button, it, you can change the text color. So let's, I'm going to make mine green. Uh, this button is the highlighting button. So let me see. Let's make it purple. And these buttons over here are to add links, pictures, videos, page breaks, bullet points, lists, and quotes. Um, because our post is going to be really simple today, we're not going to worry about these buttons just yet, but we will get to those buttons later when I ask you to post links. All right, so let's test this out. Go ahead and hit publish. And once you do, okay, you can see your post is right here. And if you click on view blog right here, you can see there is my first post and it's highlighted and in green like I edited it. Um, I know the background is the travel blog that I, that I chose. There's a way to customize this later. Um, that'll be in another video. So that is how to create posts on a blog. The other thing that I would like for you to work on is the about me. Um, if you see here, my name is here, and I have a little bit of information showing right here. 
um, if you click on view my complete profile it's going to bring you to this page and you're going to click on edit profile right here and you're going to go ahead and go down make sure that the display name is the name that you want people to see when you post things so mine's Miss Naga 7 um, I don't have a profile photo but if you would like to add one this is where you would do it please don't worry about it right now we'll do it again later uh, here you're gonna go ahead and pick um, your gender uh, list your city town and state in the United States for work uh, go ahead and click education and my occupation is teacher so I'm here but for you I would like for you to put student and down here I would like for you to go ahead and fill out your interests, um, write a little introduction. I kept mine pretty short. If you would like to elaborate more, you are free to. Welcome to do that. Go ahead. Movies, you can um, enter here. Music, books, and random questions. And once you finish your profile, you're going to go ahead and click Save Profile. And it should have said saved right here. And this is just so that whoever's reading your blog knows a little bit about you. If you don't feel comfortable giving out certain types of information, like for instance, I didn't fill out all the parts of my profile, that's completely fine. This is not a huge requirement, but it is nice to show a little bit about who the author is. So this is why I'm having you do this, okay? Once you finish that, um, you are ready to go with your blog. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to customize your blog so it is um, looks nice and um, to your taste. So go ahead. If you finish this and you still have time in the rotation, I would like for you to watch the next video that will show you how to customize your blog.